Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to No More Heroes. In the last part, I ended the video off early because I wanted to do some grinding and get the new beam katana. Well, I'll tell you right now. Everything I did off screen. Um, I'll tell you. All right, anyway, I got the new beam katana. There it is. It's four hundred thousand dollars. Then I got the next upgrade. I think that was ninety thousand. And then I'm about to buy this new upgrade, energy saving three. All right. This is this costs nine 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 nine. Like nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. I'm already down to sixty-four thousand dollars now. It takes basically a million dollars to get that, but it's a freaking awesome upgrade because basically it means that you never lose any battery power ever again. So yeah, we now have infinite battery power. Sadly, it doesn't extend to running, but whatever. Anyway, um. I went ahead, you know, I got the beam katana, I just finished getting the upgrades, and also off screen I went to Thunder I went back to Thunder Ryu and I extended the combo. So yeah. Anyway, um So yeah, now we can just head on to the stadium. Uh we actually have to go in a different entrance now. So yeah, it might take just a little bit longer to get there, but whatever. You still have to go to the stadium. Wow. Well at least it's not magic concrete, but whatever. Anyway, go ahead and just come on, flip it over. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna have to go in the back way. You might have remembered, um, like in the video where I was getting all the Lavakov balls. You saw me go back behind the stadium. That's where you gotta go. And anyway, I'll be showing you. See, now this is pretty funny. Okay, uh, you get right here. Just right here. Right now, they're telling you that you can jump with the thing. So you gotta jump on over, right? And that's like a you know, that's like a little cutscene. So yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know why the bike is called the Spell Tiger, but whatever. I think that was how it was spelled. I th ah, whatever. Anyway, go ahead and keep driving on over here. Blah blah blah. Sadly, no more Lavakov balls to get, but whatever. We don't need any more of those abilities. Um. You might not remember this, but I mentioned a while back also when I got the Lavakov Balls that the ability that we got it lets you do a jumping down attack. Um, that attack is now accessible with this new beam katana. So we're going to be showing that off. You think you're bad, don't you? <laughs> oh gosh, I really, really hate this fight. Not this part. This part's actually really fun and easy. Um, all you do is you run people over. It's friggin' awesome. I don't know why they didn't use this before, but yeah. Yay! Infinite kills! Oh, and in case you're wondering, in case you guys start seeing, like, you see all those, like, little black marks that are flying across the field? Those are just, that's just the money that the enemies drop, just in case you were wondering what those black spots were. So anyway, um, this is basically the whole mission right here. It's just you running people over. Um, dang it. It is possible to fall off your bike, so watch out for that. But as long as you stay on your bike, then you'll make quick work of this mission. I don't. I think the only way you can fall off your bike is if you either either get shot off by uh, one of the gun guys here, or if you run into the wall. So just be careful around the walls. It'll really, trust me, breaking at the right time in this mission can really save you a crap ton of time. So anyway. Uh, every now and then make passes out here because there's a lot of enemies that jump, jump down from the wall there. Go ahead and just keep killing these guys. It's pretty much just the same thing over and over again, but it's awesome because we're actually getting to run over enemies. And, that, and it's actually killing people. Alright. Boom. Any more? Aha. And boom. Alright. Um, just keep making passes over there periodically because there are a lot of enemies to kill. Crap. Oof. That was close. All right. And we also get a pretty cool remix of the No More Heroes theme. All right, come on. How many more? See how many enemies are dropping down from in here? It's crazy. All right. Um, just trying to find a good angle to hit a lot of them. I don't think it matters how fast you run over someone. I think it just has to hit them. So, yeah. So don't... Whoa! Holy crap. <laughs> uh, you almost knocked me to the wall there. But that's what happens if you get shot. You kind of glance off to the side. All right, go another enemy. All right, more here. Good. 
Boom. Um, yeah, it's kind of boring now. Because, you know, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. I'm just running people over. The novelty of it is pretty awesome, but yeah, it's pretty monotonous. Come on. I think everybody on the base, like every enemy that appears on a base is a gun guy. I think. I'm not too sure about that, but yeah. Anyway, boom. Come on. How many more? Hi. Alright, are there any more out here? Because you'd be surprised how much time I've wasted in this mission just sitting around because I didn't know there were enemies over there that needed to drop down. Ah, uh, here we go. Two more there. Good. Uh, another one, uh, apparently. Ah, oh, this... Oh, looks like... Looks like you do need to go a certain speed, but whatever. Okay. Hey! Come on, there we go. <laughs> hey! I didn't kill him. Come on! Ow, no! He didn't hit me. Dang it. Whatever. Alright, here's the new beam katana. Bam! I love it. It's an actual Japanese katana. Except it's a laser sword. Boom! Freaking love it. That's your uh, wide range attack, by the way. Alright, where are the other enemies? Ugh. Well, at least I got all the ones over here. See, now this is why it sucks to fall off your bike, because you got to run around the whole field just with, you know, on foot. Alright, go ahead and grab all your trading cards, and there's a lot of health and stuff around here. There we go. Dang, man, these guys can take a lot of punishment. Now, just imagine having to fight those guys with the, uh, the beam katana from before. You know, the Mark II, the one with all the blades. That would suck. So it's very good to get this, um... This beam katana. Here we go. Uh, I'm just looking at the signs over there. Oh, screw you! Boom. There we go. Just felt like it. Okay. Come on. Anything else? All right. Come on. Any other enemies? There. Finally. I really just don't want this mission to drag on because this is a short mission. I just had to get shot off though. Any more? Come on! Where are they? Ugh. I think I might just speed this up if there's... Oh. This better be the last one. If I end up having to wander around looking for enemies, I'm gonna speed it up. There we go. Good. Okay, so after you kill all over 9,000 enemies, um, you're able to just run around, so that really helps. Um, grab all your trading cards. And all your batteries and stuff. Whatever you want. Of course, I don't need batteries. I'll never need batteries again. Nah. Oh, hey, I can run indefinitely. Awesome. Check it out. Woo! Check out my battery. It's never going down. Woo! Into the mission. Okay. Even though we're already in the mission. Whatever. All right. Now, this is creepy. Check that out. See in the blood down there? Hold on. Next up is a ranking match. Win, and you will be second in rank. Lose, and you go to hell. Before you fight, please use the restroom. When you are ready, head inside. Good luck, Travis. Trust your force. Head for the Garden of Madness. Well, geez, that was a pretty tame phone call, huh? Anyway, check it out. It's like written in blood. Want some sugar? That's creepy. Okay. Anyway, we got two. We got nice chests up here. Uh, totally not suggestive at all, but whatever. Uh, go ahead and grab your uh, new wrestling move. And this is the final... Is this the final wrestling move? I think it is. All right, Travis. Guts are what ultimately determines the winner. Those with guts get the glory. With this suplex rain... With this, your suplex rainbow is complete. I uh, remember the silent executioner, the double wrist arm salt. That sounds painful. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in the bathroom. I love that. There's freaking advertisement for the game all over the place. It's awesome, even though it's the motel. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. 
I'll be perfectly honest, I'm tired of having half parts in between these missions, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and end it off here, because I don't want to have a gigantic half part. So anyway, in the next part we're going to go ahead and do the rank 2 fight. So anyway, see you guys then.